everyone i welcome you all to this channel so in this video we'll be building this gif which is nothing but your github contributions graph which has been eaten by a snake so please follow the steps and all the credits go to the rightful owner so stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon let's start with our video Open your GitHub, but before you select any repository, make sure to do it carefully because I am going to use a different repository. Maybe you don't have that repository in your GitHub, so make sure to follow it carefully. So I'm going to use my README profile, that is the profile that I have, the repository that is basically creating the profile of my GitHub. So in that repository, you have to create a new file that is main.yml in .github slash workflows directory. Make sure to name it very carefully and do it as I'm doing. Now you have to copy and paste a code in this file. For that, you have to head towards a document and I'll share the link of the document as well as the code in the description. So make sure to check it out and then copy this code and paste it in your file so before committing this code you have to make sure to change the username at line number 33 make sure to keep it similar to your username case sensitive otherwise it will not generate a snake that is eating your github contributions rather than others so now commit your changes then go to actions tab at the top section and you can see that generate snake button at the sidebar left sidebar is now enabled click on it click on run workflows at the right side again run workflows and then now it will generate your snake it will take some time you'll get this green tick mark when your snake file has been generated and snake file what do i mean by snake file snake file means your gif or svg file which you can use it in your readme okay so go to your uh, your output branch in the code section and as you can see .gif and .svg file has been generated you'll see what gif and svg files are doing later in this video Now go to that document and then copy this piece of code snippet and paste it in your readme. I will share the document as well as the code in the description as I told you earlier. Make sure to check the description out and if you have any doubts, comment down below. I will be helping you out in the comment section as well. So go to your readme profile and then add this at the very end so that it will show you, show the viewers of your github that this snake is eating your github contributions Thank you. 
it please help us by subscribing this channel and support this channel we really appreciate your support and we are committed to bringing you high quality informative content on a regular basis so if you found uh, our videos helpful and engaging please do consider subscribing and enjoy thank you